In this chapter you will learn which methods of communication can be used with the TIA portal. What would modern machines and production systems be without communication? During production, bottlenecks would go undiscovered. Uneconomical production and errors would be seen daily. Modern methods of communication enable machines to learn to talk with one another and exchange data. The data may be simple machine commands, such as start or stop, or concrete production parameters, such as quantities, but also safety-relevant signals, such as an emergency stop. Based on which machines are taking part in the conversation, there are various ways to transfer data. It is distinguished between field communication, data communication and vertical communication. We are now looking at field communication. The machines exchange mostly machine-relevant commands. And this exchange usually occurs via Ethernet-based communication mechanisms such as Profinet. Together with the TIA portal, Profinet allows easy diagnostics, extensive safety applications and is also protected from outside attacks, provided the rules are complied with. Now, we will be covering data communication. In data communication, or the dialogue between machines, other communications mechanisms come into play. At Siemens, for example, the S7 communication, or the Profinet functionality iDevice, enables the communication between various Sematic CPUs or the Profinet CPUs of other manufacturers, both quickly and easily. The corresponding iDevices can be configured in the TIA portal with a few clicks. Now let's look more closely at vertical communication. For the communication between machines and higher level instances, other industrial Ethernet-based protocols such as OPCUA can also be used apart from Profinet. These can come in the form of production data for maintenance or specific data for management. These can be fed into the planning and control of the production in the ERP systems and evaluated accordingly. System diagnostics is also covered in vertical communication. They can be comfortably configured and carried out using the TIA portal. How is that done in the TIA portal? In the TIA portal, you comfortably define the connections between the devices in the network view. To set up the peripheral configuration, you just connect the CPU to the peripheral device. The address assignment for subsequent control over your program is performed via the TIA portal. However, you should assign symbolic names for your variables to simplify the programming process at a later date. The data communication set is also created in the network view. You must first switch to the connection mode. The connection can be established easily with a right click. Select the desired communication protocol to begin with and then your communication partner. System diagnostics for vertical communication is performed by the TIA portal without any configuration. If a fault occurs, simply connect the TIA portal to the faulty CPU and you'll see the online view along with the problem, the device and the reason for the disruption. This information is available in various locations, such as in a panel or web server. With these communication methods, you can do the following.